Listen up. Beat it. Just in. All the gossip. 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 The Rumor Report. Gossip. gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club. All right, now Sierra and Russell Wilson have surprised some students in Seattle. They donated more than $35,000 so that each student can start with $40 in their own personal savings account. And that's for middle school students. I think that's really dope because they've done all these studies, <clears> right, <throat> that show that when kids have bank accounts at an early age, it means that they'll be end up being better with money as they get older. I love it. Dropping so, them two bombs for Russell Wilson and Sierra. Love it. That is dope. It's Financial Literacy Month, and Russell Wilson said financial literacy and building wealth is so important. Sierra and I really wanted to talk to you all because we didn't come from much, and we had big visions, and we had big goals and big dreams. So amazing. All right, now let's talk about the 2021 Billboard Music Award nominees. And guess who is leading all the finalists in these awards? That would be The Weeknd. So he's a finalist in 16 different categories, followed by The Baby. He has 11 nominations. And yeah. That's why, that's Just think why about artists. That. That's why artists should never care about any award shows validation. Salute to the weekend. Remember the Grammy snubbed the weekend, which that's we all, what I was gonna say. Yeah, but, mm -hmm. but we all thought that was crazy because we know that the weekend should have gotten a bunch of bunch of awards. But look at Billboard; they got it right. So you shouldn't put stock in any of that stuff. Just create, man. That's it. All right. So what's the top rap album? Okay, if you have to choose, the baby, blame it on baby, Juice World, Legends Never Die, Lil Baby, My Turn, Lil Uzi Vert, Eternal, It Take. And Pop Smoke, Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon. Uh, I think Lil Pop Baby, Smoke. My Turn. Lil Baby, My Turn. I think Pop Smoke. You're, you're a New York bias, and you're just being ridiculous. Lil Baby, no. My Turn. I mean, Rest if you look Pop at it, Smoke, love how, many Pop Pop, Smoke. how many records Pop Smoke had on, on the charts this year with all the records that he did? He had about at least five or six number one records. Four or five number one records. He didn't have records. no five or six number ones. I said four or five number one records. I he didn't say, have four right? or five. <laughs> he had the one, with, the one with The Baby and Lil Baby, I believe. Lil the Baby was with, on that. One with 50 Cent. That was number Rich. one. Yes, that was. Who was the number one record? No, I didn't Absolutely. know it was number one. And uh, there was another one, the, uh, the 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 girl record. I think with, with TJ. I don't know, but I'm still going. Little baby, my turn. Little baby, baby my turn. Three. Was incredible. No, I think little baby, little baby's my All turn right, was listen, 2020. We'll see. Most, we shall see. Listen, do you know and my turn was 2020's most popular album of any musical genre? Period. Over Taylor Swift and everybody sold more. Everybody, but forget to that. The record was just better. I, I'm going. Little baby, my turn. Did you listen to Pop Smoke? Right, we'll album? see. Yes, of course I listen to Pop Smoke album. You, you think guys, Pop Smoke album is better than Lil Baby? This My is all sub this is all subjective for you all. That so is true. You guys have different mm -hmm. opinions, so it's fine. Okay, they all got nominated, so they're all worthy of winning. It's all a matter of opinion, too. By the way. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's talk about Shaq. He was on the All the Smoke podcast, and amongst the things that he spoke about was joining the Miami Heat with Dwayne Wade. Here's what he said. So when I got to D Wade, I was like, I know you heard all the stories. It's your team. What I should have did in L.A., now that I'm thinking about it. So we ain't going to have any problem. You the man, you the CEO, I'll be the consultant. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know who he was. So while we in the playoffs, I'm watching him go at Baron Davis. I'm like, mm -hmm. who is this? Young motherfucker. Yeah, right, so then when the Lakers talking about playing me, I said, I know where I want to go. Yeah, so I want to go play with him. So as soon as he got there the first day, I said, look, man, you mm -hmm. heard this, you heard that. Me and you ain't going to have no problem. You the man. Now, he also talked about learning about Kobe passing. And here's what Shaq had to say about that. One day I'm downstairs working out with my youngest son, Shakir, and one of my other son comes in the, in the gym and he's crying. So I'm like, my mom okay? Your mom okay? My kids okay? And then I see the, the Kobe thing. So now I'm like, it gotta be a hoax. And then the calls just kept coming in. And then you go watch TV and just hit. It put me in a, I shoulda mode. I shoulda spent more time with my sister. Mm -hmm. I shoulda reached out to young fella. I should have just called and just check on them. And, you know, things like that you can never get back. Uh, listen, I love the All The Smoke podcast. I'm, I'm not being biased because they're on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network. I loved them before. They get some great conversations out of people. And it's interesting that he said he wished he would have said that to Kobe as far as, like, this is your team, this is your CEO. Like, I wonder what made him, I wonder what made him get to Miami and realize he had to check his ego. Like, I wonder why he, mm -hmm. he felt to do that to Dwayne Wade but not uh. Not Kobe at the time. That's what I would mm -hmm. want to know. All right. Well, if you listen to the full episode, you can also hear him talk about his top five rappers, top five basketball players, and top five dinner guests. I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report. All right. Thank you, Miss Yee. <clears throat> also, I want to say Pop Smoke has the longest running number one on top R&B <laughs> and hip hop albums chart Bruh. since 1990. Bro, little baby Longest had the, running little, number one. little baby had the most popular album of 2020 of any musical genre. You know how big that is in a year when Taylor Swift came out? 
Yeah, he has the longest running number one since 1990. 1990, the longest number one oh, on, on R&B. And you guys, album. one last thing before we get out of this. Shout out to DJ Khaled. As promised, his new oh, album gosh. is out. Oh, my God. And make sure you check out that new video for his single, Sorry Not Sorry, featuring Nas, James, and Jay-Z. And I don't know well, who's right or wrong, but Billboard says Pop Smoke has zero number one hits and one top ten hit. Billboard.com says Pop <laughs> See, I don't know. But I, I like I, I love both their albums and I will be happy if either one of those guys wins. So shout to Pop. Well, rest in peace, Pop Smoke, and shout to Lil Baby. All right. Well, let's get into the mix. Uh it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Mm-hmm. 